Broken Promises was an inner series of stories that we did about the opioid epidemic and its effect on our most vulnerable citizens. We found that there was an intersection between lack of housing and folks struggling with addiction. The city's um, inability to solve both of those was actually exacerbating each of them. My original intent was to follow someone through the process of them trying to overcome a fentanyl addiction. What you would hear from our elected officials was just how difficult it was for someone to overcome this, how different fentanyl was from any other drug. There's such a power in letting someone tell their own story. I'm too good to be doing drugs, you know, I'm too smart, I got too many options in front of me, there's too many things I'd rather be doing. You know, I don't feel like I'm better than anybody, but I feel like I'm better than being a drug user. I met Anthony originally, um, and he was starting to think about making a change. And finally one day I showed up and he was like, I, I think I'm ready, I'm going to go. And we met Anthony the next morning, went to the treatment program, and within 30 seconds of him walking in that door, we saw him get turned away because there was no beds available that day. We really wanted to dive into all aspects of the crisis and the lives that it touches. We found a doctor who works uh, at a local hospital. Fentanyl is devastating the country. We have seen a skyrocketing number of drug-related overdoses in the last couple of years. We found a business that uh, has to deal with the issues that fentanyl causes every day. This drug, is, it, has, it, has, it gets a hold of these people, man, and it don't let them go trying to do alternative storytelling, utilizing graphics, diagrams, animations, documentary photography, and video. After the articles came out, the city is finally taking steps to make harm reduction a more achievable goal. This is a, you know, years, sometimes decades long process. We're committed to finding a way to reach people so that people realize that it affects all of us.